Right. So, came from there, went there, went there. Time to go this way. Ah, it's one of those braces that's used to keep the wall, or <laughs> keep the wall, keep the ceiling up. Keep it from falling on your head, because that would hurt. Alright, at this point I should be able to just go back to fix the power, but I want to know what's here first. Oh, here's the Morse code. It's rather loud and creepy sounding. Let's turn that off. Comms equipment. Can't be within signal range. That noise. For some reason, I really don't like it. I've got to get a grip. Calm radio. Whoa. That beeping coming from the speakers. Maybe there's someone out there after all. God, the noise is annoying. Not the beeping, but that static. Alright, I'm gonna have to decode that in a minute. These spare radio parts don't look spare at all. They almost look like they've been put here recently. Foreman's warning. Hold on. Let's move somewhere where it's not incredibly obnoxious to read that. There. That beeping noise would drive me nuts. Foreman's warning. 12th of January, 1972. Boys, I'd come have a word with you myself, but I've got more important things to do than piss about making sure you're all doing your jobs properly. Now, I know there's a certain amount of camaraderie between you lot playing pranks and jokes on each other. It comes with the territory, and that's fine. As long as you don't add me to your list. God knows you need something to keep you entertained down here. However, you all know full well that Penrose has some very deep-seated issues with his height. So anyone who thought it'd be a good idea to sabotage his generator, then hide all the spare fuses on the top shelf in the storeroom would quite clearly need his head examined. You get me? <laughs> so apparently that was a joke. Uh, a cruel prank played on a short person. In other news, Jones, I want that inventory done yesterday and the rest of you, it's not all fun and games, you hear? On a serious note, another radio's gone missing, and you'd better hope to God that means one of you've lo one of you's lost it, because stealing ain't a pretty word in my book. It's the third one this month, which means the amnesty on coming clean is fast coming to a close. Then there will be repercussions. Got it? What's strange is, you're all supposed to be working in pairs, so nobody should be able to get their hands on a radio without the other spotting it. When I find out who's responsible, I'm gonna find out how they got away with it so long. Then I'm gonna fling them out into the snow and leave them there. They'll just disappear into the night, just like all those radios. Harvard. Lead mine foreman. All right, it is time to do some Morse Coterie. This could be painfully slow to watch, but it is a puzzle. It is a puzzle and well, I'm gonna solve it. So if you don't wanna watch, feel free to skip it, but let's do this. Well, this could be very painful actually. We'll see, I'm, I'm gonna turn my light on here. There we go, so I can actually see what I'm writing. All right. I'm probably gonna have to listen to it about a hundred times to get it right. Okay. So where's the start of it? Here we go. Alright, 
I've got the first one. I'm actually getting them pretty fast. Let me double check. One, two, three, four, five. Mm, mm. I think it's only four letters or digits. Let me ch check it again. Okay, I've got it. Yeah, that actually wasn't too bad at all. Alright, so now what is it? Is it a code? Is it a letter? Alright, five dots. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that's just the number five. And then two lines and three circles, whatever they're called. I don't know the proper names from. Two lines, three circles. Two lines, three circles. Is seven. Three circles, two lines. Three circles, two lines is three. And then three lines, two circles. Or dots, whatever you want to call them. That's eight. So five, seven, three, eight. All right, I don't know what that's a code to, but apparently it's going to come in handy at some point. Let me turn off my, turn off my light. There we go. Yeah, it, it just sounded like a really long message. I was thinking maybe it would be a sentence. And a sentence would take a very long time to decode. But nope. It was only four four numbers. I guess I guess it's generator time. Oh you know what it probably is? There's probably a passcode to unlock it, right? Yeah, okay. Go away. Yes, yeah, so you need to turn on the power, and then you need to actually unlock it. Alright. Let's get this baby started. We should finally be ready now, provided this fuse holds out, that is. So, do I need to do this first? See, I'm wondering if I'm fucked, because it it's... Like, it's going through the thing. Is it stuck? Do I need to mess with it? Let's see if this does anything. Okay. No, oh shit, well, I've already fucked it up. Am I gonna be able to press this? I mean, it looks broken. Ah, I hope I'm not doing this all in vain because I think bugged out. Uh, can I reset this? Because I don't, I don't want to do that one first. Let's just see if this works. Okay. Then at the end, you're supposed to pull the main lever, which would be this, correct? I think I'm fucked. This isn't right. I mean, look, this that's not right. <laughs> Is there something I'm missing about how to activate this thing and how to reset the main lever? I guess this is a control panel for the generator. Yep. Shit. Man, why did it bug out like that? So I gotta go back and do this all again, don't I? Did I save before I pulled the lever or not? Oh, God, I don't remember.
Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna figure out what's wrong here. Get, I guess get back to here. And I will be right back. Alright, here we are again. It, uh, it actually wasn't so bad. It only took me like two minutes to get back. Thankfully, my first save in the generator room was from before I pressed the lever. Or pulled it, however you'd like to say it. And yeah, it does seem to be a particularly nasty and replicatable bug. If you simply, if you pull it hard enough, it will sink through the bottom. Like, if you do it lightly, it's fine. But if you do it really hard, uh, there you go. You're fucked. It'll never come back up. I, I can't move it. I'm moving it right now. Furiously, but it doesn't work. So, yeah, be careful with the lever. You can totally screw yourself over. So, battery. Be nice and gentle with it. Very gentle. Let's throw this thing down a dark hole because no one likes it. There we go. Alright. Now, let's do this. I wonder if the order I do it in actually matters, does it? Let's test. It should, I would think. Either the air down here is getting to me, or I haven't read those instructions right. Okay. Alright, so, secondary is first. Let's hope that this is secondary. But then, cooling. I wish I knew what the hell that was. The symbol's worn out. But I should be able to work out what all this does. Hold on, maybe I should look at this. Could be a letter I. A symbol for water? That's what I was thinking. This is probably steam. Nah, I'm pretty sure that's steam. That's oil, right? At any rate, uh, some sort of fluid control. Hydraulics. Yeah, it's gotta be grease or whatever. Alright, so that... There's probably two combinations that this could potentially be, given that I know what all these are except these two, so... And then cooling. Steam. Grease. Main valve. And let's see if this works. Nope. All right, in that case, this is secondary. Actually, it does look like two eyes, maybe, and this is one eye. And the last thing you're supposed to do is the main valve, and the first thing you're supposed to do is secondary, so yeah, that's gotta be secondary, and that's main. So, secondary, and then cooling. And then steam. Grease. Main. Whoops. Come on, come on. Yeah! <gasps> light! Light! Glorious light! That is, for some reason, not as bright as I expected it to be. Apparently this is Doom 3's lighting. Where even the lights are dark. But still, it's some light. And that is glorious. Ooh, look at that motion blur. Should I touch it? I want to touch it. You want me to touch it, don't you? <laughs> the hand goes around it. Look at that. Whee! When you grab onto it, the hand gets attached to it. <laughs> uh, I bet if I touched it, I would die. Because it is moving. Yeah, it's moving a lot. Okay, let's go say hello to our canine friend. Who, fun fact, is not actually our friend.
Whoa. Day. Whoa. Good day. Can you hear me? Well, yes. I hope that your ears are working better than your tongue, so that you might use them to listen to my words. You have turned on the light at the end, beginning and middle of the tunnel. But some things remain shrouded in darkness. My Morrissey message I hope has helped, but what you need now is to the wall hole to the right of the fence. Oh, go now. There is no time to explain. Well, in fact, time is one of the few things we have in abundance down here. What surprises are spoiled by such catty curiosity. What the hell is going on down here? God damn it, this radio is useless. Who was that? I actually forgot to even try to use the radio. I guess it doesn't work. It's a narrow band communications radio. Huh. I remember building one of these in my first electronics class. I probably did a better job of it as well. <laughs> okay, apparently it's in a bad state. It's in a bad way. Beyond the fence to the right, there should be a hole or perhaps an access point to reach further into the mine. Okay. Ow. Need to stop doing that. Okay. So, I wrote it down. Uh, 5738. Does this see me? This, no, oh! It saw me from up here? Alright, fine. Bring it on. Ow! Holy shit. I didn't realize it could kill me in two bites. Oh, fine. You wanna fight? You wanna fight? Oh my fucking god! The weapon is so hard to use. Ew, I can hear it eating me. Alright, let's try to not fight. Where's my... Where's my thing? Oh, shit, I didn't... Fuck, it. No, not quite right. You mean I can't burn it? I meant to do this. There. There. Go. 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 Oh, shit. Well... Oh, shit. I'm stuck. Fuck. Hole to the right, hole to the right, where's the hole? Apparently that was well, that wasn't a hole, that was a door, but I'll take it. <sighs> okay. Ah, uh, my memory is like something with a great many small holes. We shall be needing to perform some minor demolition work so that we might one day meet again. For this task, we shall require the use of a large, earth-eating metal monster. And that monster is thirsty for juice from the place where things are kept. By the way, you can call me Red. It's not my name, you understand, but, but I am sure you will agree. It is a name rather similar to a cardigan. Fetching when worn correctly. Sure. Okay, I saw Red mentioned before in one of my notes. Where? Here it is. I love my workshop. Mm -hmm. um, for Red ate ravis ravenously of their flesh today, and shall continue to do so. And yet Red's mind is working somewhat backwards. Okay, so he's the one that wrote that. Fucking dogs. They, they honestly are just annoying. They're mostly annoying. They're not very scary. They're just, for the most part, just obnoxious. Yeah, this looks explosive. Explosive? Maybe it'll blow up on you. Oh shit! There we go. <laughs> Would have blown up on my head.
I could attempt to use the dynamite. I don't know how far it's going to go, though. Nah, I'm safe. There we go. Can't get up here. It's a long way down from up there. I hope it's sturdier than it looks. Yeah, try to get me. Try to get me, asshole. Well, that didn't quite work. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, come back. Come back. Oh, what are you going to do? Ugh. Son of a bitch. Well, I think it's dynamite time. It certainly made a bang, but unfortunately it didn't work. Right, I was going to try to avoid hitting these things because it might kind of ruin the immersion if you just kill every enemy you find, but they honestly are just pretty annoying. I think, and I think I should just kill them. Holy shit. Thing scary. Very strange movement pattern. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, it's almost impossible to use these damn weapons. You have no idea how hard it is. But it's okay, I want to do this properly. Ah. Uh. My memory is like something with a great many small holes. We shall be needing to perform some minor demolition work so that we might one day meet again. For this task, we shall require the use of a large, earth-eating metal monster. And that monster is thirsty for juice from the place where things are kept. All right. By the way, you can call me Red. It's not my name you understand, but <sighs> I am sure you will agree. It's a name rather similar to a cardigan. Fetching when worn correctly. Son of a bitch. Well, at least these are all going to blow up when I throw dynamite. Okay. Well. Time for dynamite. Surely that killed it, right? Oh my god. That was a bit more of a boom than I thought. But thank God. Apparently, um I'm like I'm closely related to Max Payne, so I can just pop pills and everything's good. Alright. Auxiliary shaft. Oh, this place has an auxiliary shaft? I only have one. Uh, looks like it's blocked with a piece of wood. Found a great door leading deeper into complex. But it's barricaded with a piece of wood on the other side. Need some way to shift it. Broom. Okay, let's be honest. I could just bash that thing through the bars. But apparently I need some special tool. I could use dynamite. Nah. Ooh, another explosive.
Nice little hiding spot there. Auxiliary, tool shed. Alright, this is another very large place. Lots of these around. Yeah. Oh, shit. Alright, I guess we're going to the tool shed. Wait, if that's the tool shed, what's over here? Storage and excavation. Alright. Looks safe, I think. Let's hope it isn't locked. Ah, good. Ooh. Ah, that must be for the wood. Saw. More TNT. Xeno Report 66B. Phase 9, Anno 9002. Anno Domini 1992. What? I guess that's another way of saying 1992. 9002, whatever Anno means. I don't know what that means. Filed by a chief attending Xeno officer. For the eyes of the leading installation officer only. Leader. Unlike the other findings, 66B appears to be of manufactured rather than natural origin. And so warrants additional interest, and need I say, security. The bulk of Substance 63 was discovered only six yards from where Artifact 66B was buried, and appears, at least in part, to consist of a solidified form of 63, with a number of operable appendages. The artifact emits a low level of light from a seemingly inexistible... Inox... <laughs> I forgot how to pronounce that word. Inexhaustible! There we go. From a seemingly inexhaustible energy supply, suggesting its origin is indeed as was expected. Suspected. Of course, the ramifications of this fact are clear, and appropriate measures are already being taken. Progress is becoming enlightened as to the purpose of the device, if indeed it served a purpose in the traditional traditional sense at all. Has has been slow. Wait, what the? F oh, progress in becoming enlightened about it has been slow. Following a proto uh, following protocol to the letter, I assigned my secondary officer to the artifact on Phase 7, only for him to go missing the following day. He eventually, re eventually returned to the site from a previously uncharted area of the mines, presumably having discovered a new route, avoiding the cave-ins. At this stage, we can only assume what transpired, since he remains in a state of disorientation. Far be it for me to question the decisions of the elevated caste but I am struggling to understand the necessity of conducting standard scientific testing in this case. I, of course, have full faith in the abilities of the research team, put together and sent here by my immediate superior. I simply wonder whether their time might be better employed on the main site. Nevertheless, it is comforting to note that the actions of every member of the organization are carefully choreographed and controlled by those far outranking myself. Both in stature and wisdom, and with this in mind, I feel fully justified in filing an official request for further manpower. We have already lost a number of workers to unforeseen events, largely while engaging in the studies mentioned earlier. And further investigation of the area calls for volunteers to carry out tasks altogether too hazardous in nature to risk the well-being of more elevated organization members. In particular, the tunnel system above the secondary site requires immediate cartography. Okay, year 1992. Xeno Report. Alright, so this place was a lead mining place. And then it was some sort of a military base. Around the 40s. So in the 30s it was a lead mining site. In the 40s it was some sort of a, a war base, military base. And now around the 2000s, I mean around uh, 1990s. It's now apparently a place of research, so this place has been retrofitted many times and retooled and reused for many different things. And what is this about a cast system? What was it? The elevated cast? That sounds very strange. Very strange.
Well, I guess I'll just take it straight back to the wood. Yeah, I mean, look at that. It was just a simple piece of wood that was just... Whoa! It was... <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was. It was just, um... It was just set in there. I mean, you could have... He could have just stuck his hand through and just pushed it up. There was nothing keeping it in. Bizarre. Ah, great. Warning, dogs. Hold on, what's everywhere else, though? There's so many places to go. I don't know. Let's figure out what's here first, though. Oh my god, there's more. Oh. Yeah, I remember this place being just a total maze. And it was so obnoxious, because he had to deal with these dogs all the time. I want to just blow him up. Lots and lots of explosives. I suppose I could trigger these just by hitting them, actually. Let's let's try that actually. Let's do that. Yeah, let's try this. Don't don't look behind you. Please don't look behind you. All right, this is a bit dangerous, but I'm gonna do it. Oh god! I didn't realize it flew so far when you hit it. Okay, it does work. Um. How far can I throw it? Pretty far. I think I'm gonna bash it in a corner so it doesn't get away from me. And then try throwing it. Alright. Let's- oh, there's two! Did the other one go? Come on back! Come yeah, on. You know you want to. Okay, there's one coming. Alright, here we go. Yes! Perfect! <laughs> Perfect! That is so satisfying. Okay. Yeah, screw bashing them in the face. I'm just gonna blow them up. The fuckers. I need another one, though. I need more explosives. I could always just throw dynamite, but... This is way more fun than just throwing dynamite. That's way too simple. Oh god, this place is huge. You really need to kill them or you're gonna drive yourself crazy sneaking around everywhere. Where's the you're here? There. Alright, so everything past, past that door is a new zone. Alright, that goes to the iron mines and the auxiliary shaft. Need more- oh, there's two more. Hello, my friends. I have grown to love you. Oh! Damn it. Go back. Is it gonna keep coming? No, it's probably gonna go back, right? Yeah.
Don't know if that killed it, but that must have hurt it. Nope, it's still quite alive. That's gonna get it. What the- what?! No! No. Okay. I can't believe that explosive did nothing to it. It was walking as if... as if nothing happened. And I just blew something up within a couple feet of it. That dog was hacking. Okay. Now I can freely run around. Yeah, unfortunately the enemies really are just annoyances in this game, more than anything. I definitely got better about that in the, ow, in the second game. Auxiliary shaft. Oh boy. Yep, yeah, this is a very, very big place. This area must be the access point to reach further into the mine. Yep, oh, this is the thing that Red said I needed to power, right? Yeah, fuel. Now that's quite a machine. It doesn't come any more industrial size than that. Those teeth at the front look pretty sharp. The whole thing just looks mean. There's no power in the control panel. Oh, I guess I need to plug it in. Well, let's see. There's where one side goes. And the other side... goes where? Ah. Simple enough. Cool. Although that looks extremely dangerous, because... Yeah, that's definitely a workplace safety hazard sort of thing. You could totally trip over that. Ah! Thought you could hide. More dynamite. From out the door rises something vast, something terrible. It strikes a man, knocking him down, and those standing by him wither into the darkness. Screaming... Uh... Begins? Be beggings? I don't know, that doesn't seem like a word, I think that's misspelled. Screaming something. Still, Father looks on. Is he bringing this? Father, what have you done? I felt something that time, that I didn't feel before, but I'm sure it's always been there. It's as if a small part of me is still trapped inside the artifact. A power cabinet. I doubt that Transformers passed a rigorous safety check. Yeah, probably not. I'm assuming this thing won't do anything before this thing has fuel. Well, power's on, but nothing else is on the cards. Yeah, I need fuel. This must be the control station for that yellow monstrosity. Oh, no, never mind. Mining machine. It needs ignition key. Okay, so I guess I need a key and I need fuel. This thing is amazing. <laughs> Look at that. What a beast. This doesn't look as old as some of the other of some of the other damage to the mine. The bits of rock occasionally come loose from the rubble. All right, so they've been doing some recent recent re recent excavations. I think I've been misspeaking while playing Penumbra more than I've ever misspoke while playing any game. Maybe the psychotropic stuff inside of the rock inside of the mine is driving me a bit crazy. What else is in here? That's the way back out. A 
Oh, I guess that's the only thing, isn't it? Yeah, the to the iron mines is actually... That's north, I think. Let's check again, though, just to be sure. Actually, I haven't been here. Hmm. You seem kind of ominous, but apparently there's nothing here. Nope. Alright, let's go back out to the other dogs and show them what I've learned about explosives. So, I need fuel and an ignition key. Tool shed I've already been to, auxiliary shaft I just went to, so where now? I'm going to take you with me. Oh, I see a dog. Let's go. See, is it going to come around the corner? Okay, now's the time. Perfect. That could not have been more perfect. It's a weird pose it died in. Almost looks like it's standing up still. You're creeping me out there, doggy. <laughs> it's like it's sitting down. Can I move it? Ew. No. It's stuck. I'll take this with me. Excavation and toolshed. Already been in the toolshed. Let's go to excavation. I know there's more. I know there's more. Where are you? Oh, there's one. Thankfully, they don't seem to respond to sound. Where is it? Alright, where are you gonna go? You coming back? Oh, calm down. It's coming back. Oh, that's good. That's good, that's good! Blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up! Okay. Oh. Oh no. Get down. Why is this still- what the hell? Is it- is it dead? Um... <laughs> I guess- I guess it's dead? Uh, that's really strange. It's stuck in a loop. Huh, okay. Right. Well, that's- Probably all the dogs in here, I would think. There's at most one more, I would think. Storage. I've already been to storage, right? Well, I've been to the tool shed. I don't know about storage. No, I haven't been here. Damn, I can't get this door open. Oh. Those holes in my mind are increasingly gaping. You cannot breach the inner sanctum of the place of storing. The entryway is blocked. So what if the squashy material between my ears is squashier than most? 
I may not be perfect like a hanging picture, but my words are wise and backed up by time. A pox! A pox on both your brain cells! Try as I may, you must think that I deceive you with my admittingly cunning ways. As far as my eye has seen, our rocky grave extends, and yet you cast away my hope like you would a puppy, freshly rolled in its own feces. I hope that your warped sense of morality is better company than I, because now it is all you have left. Um, what? Apparently I've pissed him off, but I'm not really sure why. Um, I'm sorry. Sometimes my emotions are like a disobedient pet. Uncontrollable and often rolling in shit. Better safe than sorry, they say. But I think we are both sorrier than we are safe. A tunnel lies between a nearby watery cave and the place where things are kept. Take the second right from the closed door and you will find what you seek. The second right from the closed door, okay. Uh... There's the first one. Or maybe that's the second one. Because there, there isn't another right. Okay, I guess that's... Yep, let's go here. Whoa. This rudimentary lighting system should reassure me. It doesn't much. These rusting hooks are designed to hoist thick cables, but they'd probably hold a good deal more weight. Piercing white light. Still not enough to illuminate the whole room. Whoa. Spiders. I just heard spiders. That must be the tunnel leading to the storeroom. It's pretty high, though. Ah. So I think I need to do that. Ow. No? Hook, hook it on a little bit? What about this piece? Okay, I probably need to build a tower of boxes. This could have been damaged when I got the power on. The man, still clutching, still looking, for what? Before him lies metal, jutting awkward from earth. A hatch, a portal, a hole, a door. Unfamiliar text. Who are these figures, huddled around? What secrets are hidden beyond the faces of men? I suppose I can trust these things a bit more. I'm not dead yet. Still, they must have a purpose. What could it be? Excavation findings. The test substance continues to defy identification. Both chemical and xeno investiga investigations fail to produce meaningful results. Testing continues. Test 102. Bromine test. Normal pH 5. Test 103. Acid amide test. Negative. Test 104. Ammonia NH3. Negative. Unreactive. Test 105. Hydrochloric acid solution. Negative for sulfate, sulfide, and chlorate ions. Test 106. Standard hallucinogenics. Mild intoxicant. Tests abandoned due to most test subjects suffering massive internal hemorrhaging within one to two hours. Holy shit. Test 107. Positive slash negative medical cations. Incomplete. Test 108. Human hallucinogenics. Incomplete. Testing of the gaseous fog has been considerably more successful. It appears to be a harmless blend of sulfur, chlorine, and aromatic amine, which gives it the floating visual effect. Please note that harmless here is used in the xenochemics sense. It is harmless insofar as we have identified it, and so can take the necessary safety measures. If directly ingested, it would, naturally, be lethal. 
Test 159. Potassium dichromate paper. Positive for sulfur. Test 161. Litmus test. Negative for all but chlorine. Test 301. Hydrochloric acid solution. Positive for aromatic amine. Work continues on the issue of transporting the substance. So far, removing it from its dormant location causes its base state to radically change. Producing massive heat to the detriment of free workers, one of whom is no longer operational due to his injuries. Following heat dissipation, the substance appears to turn dead, unreactive to every test we have the equipment to run. The prevailing theory is that somehow the disruption of the material causes it to enter hugely accelerated chemical decay. We estimate its half-life to be approximately 0.4 seconds. Holy shit, 0.4 seconds as a half-life is insane. That is so unbelievably quick. Half-lives are typically in the order of... Well, I don't know what they're... Like, what, what an average half-life would be, but I'm... I know it's typically thousands of years, I think. Hmm. So what exactly is this substance? I haven't seen any of it. I wonder. And apparently they have no idea what the hell it is. It's a big flat plane of rock, probably used for loading. Almost looks like some kind of altar. It does actually kind of look like an altar sort of place. All these supply crates are filled to the brim with bottled water. Why leave all this behind? <laughs> You're assuming they left it behind rather than just never being able to get back to it. The supplies in this box look military. They can't be more than 20 years old. Oh, there's the substance, I think. Well, apparently it's not an acid. These lamps are much newer than the rest of the mine equipment. It looks like some kind of excavation, although not like any mining operation I've ever seen. I don't know where that mist is coming from, but I don't fancy getting any, any closer to find out. Yeah, let's not. Let's... Oh god, I'm kind of stuck inside. There we go. Let's not. The rock itself looks as if it's given up on life and begun to decay, like the rest of this place. All right, let's build a little... Let's build a little... Build a little tower here. Doot, doot, doot. Why is this thing spinning? That's really weird. There we go. For better or for worse, looks like I can climb up into the tunnel mouth. I'll need to get up pretty high to get a good grip of the ladder. Oh, I can't even lift this thing. I can't lift it. I can scoot it around, but I can't lift it. Hmm. So... What do I use? Can I stand on a cone? <laughs> that doesn't seem safe, but... Apparently I can't. Oh, I'm stuck on it. Nope, there we go. I like how I fell right at the end, before it fully switched over to the loading screen. Oh god. Everything in me is saying I should turn back, but I'd better continue. Yeah, everything in me is saying turn back as well. This doesn't look good. Oh, great. Now I've got no choice but to move on. Whatever's made this tunnel, is its home has clearly made it unstable as well. Great. Spiders. My god. Nothing lays eggs that big. They're leathery, so can't be mammalian. More likely amphibious or insectoid. I really don't like the way they're moving. Neither do I. Oh god! Oh! 
Wow, that didn't last long, did it? Let's try that again, but this time let's not do that. You. Ugh. I hope these came from an animal, but I have my suspicions. I need to- Oh god. It's a time thing, isn't it? Oh. Close it, close it. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. There we go. Jesus, am I poisoned? No. Okay. More? More? Where? Which way? Which way do I run? Okay. Let's go this way. Oh, shit. Not that way. Not that way. Oh, I heard him smashing behind me. I can barely see this paraffin in my eyes. Oh, yep. Yeah. Burn. A broken paraffin lamp. Highly flammable, indeed. Thankfully. Do I want to open that? Uh, I don't know. I'm amazed I can move this rock. This thing would weigh, like, a ton. Literally, like, a ton. As in thousands of pounds. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's close that one up. Now you should find yourself in the watery cave of conversations best. With a tunnel above you from times ahead. In this tunnel, for both our sakes, be careful, not curious. I have already spoken to you about the cat, and repeating myself is not only out of the question, but out of the window and climbing down the guttering. There are spiders in the tunnels that love to suck on the human fluids, so do not disturb the walls. They are fragile like the china vase in the hooves of the wall. Oh, this is like Indiana Jones up in here. That's one of the other problems that I think they've they've definitely worked on a lot, frictional games, is... Like, this sort of a section here, it feels very... It's very gamey... To be forced into... I mean, you go into a tunnel and then magic... Like, it just happens to collapse behind you. And then there's all these things which you just happen to have a response to. Like, there's spiders chasing you and there just happens to be a gigantic boulder that you implausibly can move as if it's made out of styrofoam to block the way. And then there's a broken paraffin lamp and you have to light it. Like, it's very cheesy. It's a very awkward and I don't, I don't know the right term to describe it exactly but it definitely doesn't feel good it's just eh. so that's one of the big things they've definitely improved on in their future games oh crap here we go They're behind me. Not even gonna look behind me. Oh god, they're right fucking there. Ow. <laughs> oh, that is an incredibly strong pickaxe. They just break through rock walls. Oh, that's a long loading screen. Okay. I am very much hurt. There should be some insect repellent in that red and white cross box in that room. Just in case those spiders found your flesh delicious. They did. How does my brain flesh know your fluids are leaking? <laughs> because the red tricked you. <laughs> Spidery tunnel was far from a necessary evil. More so, it served as a well-deserved punishment. You thought my mind had been lost to the ravages of time, but poetic justice has struck with a sonnet and an eight-legged baptism of fire. With justice now served cold, I hope that we can be good friends. Now reclaim the key and go-go juice. 
and find a way to the mining monster. Red, I don't think we're ever going to be friends. You dick. Red spoke of a key and some go-go juice. Yep, key and some, some gas. What well, is strangely serene music? That's very serene music for a very unserene scene. It makes me think that maybe everything will be okay. But of course it won't. Either it's locked or something's blocking the door. Damn it. That actually worked. I, I really didn't expect that to work. Huh. This must house the interior ventilation system. Alright, a lot of different ways to go here. This whole installation is just falling apart. Yep, interior vent ventilation system. Can I just break it open? Yep. Cool. Lots of equipment, but useless. I'm never using these flares. I already have 12. This don't seem to be bright enough to really be worth it here. Ah. Can't go that way. I just don't get it. How long could this have been running for? Ah, we got a crate and a crane puzzle. I remember those. Old school. Oops. No reason why this mechanical arm shouldn't still be working. When I use these now, I feel as if I'm not the only one. It's getting crowded in there, like I'm just one visitor of many. Strange thing is, they all seem familiar. It's a book. Greenland Myth. In... I don't remember what I pronounce. Is it Inuit or Inuit? Inuit. Inuit. I can't remember. But anyway. Christian Foresight. First published 1903. So remember that uh, some of the workers had mentioned that they were, they were thinking some, there was some sort of a... Ah, now I need to find it. What was it? Or was it? Someone mentioned it. Inuit. Someone mentioned something about Inuits. Where the hell was it? And it's not in the manual. Ah, I don't remember. It was all the way back to... The Post article? Yeah, Inuit spirits known, um... Few locals were conducive to interview, but those who agreed to speak held, had their own explanation. Inuit spirits known as the Turngate live in the mountains. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Over the past hundred years, our people have been something of a religious... have seen something of a religious revelation. The... I don't know how to pronounce that. The... Kalil... something. An Inuit, in general, might be said to have seen the error of our ways. And Christianity has become increasingly embraced throughout the Arctic communities. It is the purpose of this paper to explore the true roots of our long-held beliefs and to uncover how they might be justified today in our newfound enlightenment. As such, this essay will be the first I've written in English, as opposed to our native... however you pronounce that. 
another word I can't pronounce. It is no coincidence that the word animoc bears resemblance to the English word angel. There's an... wait. That's not an M. An... Anernot... Anernot? I have no freaking clue. I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop trying. The something are the Inuit equivalent of the soul, an undying entity released in the death of its worldly body. The concept itself is obviously well grounded in decent Christian belief. However, previous thought has been blasphemous to the extent that souls are attributed to all beings, man or beast. To claim such a thing would be to imply that the killing of a beast for food is the same as the murder of your fellow man, and such a belief simply cannot be held simply cannot be held the civil... I think I should say by the civilized Inuit. Turngate. Legends speak of disembodied spirits, malicious in nature, sabotaging tools, turning hunts bad, and at times even possessing the weak or unfortunate. A something appears to have no recognized or agree, agreed origin, both in terms of the legend itself and the individual being, causing great doubt to be entirely justifiable. Can we, in our Christian foresight, really believe in possession and evil spirits? It seems perfectly clear to this writer that the real origin of the Turngate belief lies in the Christian demon. For, as we are taught by the generous and selfless Moravian Church, without whose support our people would no doubt have starved many years ago, the demon is capable of possession and of countless other atrocities, which only the good Christian man can avoid through a lifetime of humility and devotion. Another word. <laughs> With the conclusions reached above, the status of the cherished something, the tribe shaman, should be obvious. Such people are in league with the Turngate demons, working side by side to control and contain the something people. We have no need for such superstition, and suspicion breeding people in our Christian ways. The, pro the Protestant priest can perform all of the something duties, and more beside. Holy crap, this is long. God. The final challenge of a work such as this should be to find the nature of the Christian God and to ask why he has not been present for so many years of Inuit belief. Until recently, the Inuit people wrongly attributed to something almost godlike status in certain cases and treated the Turngate as the devil incarnate. It is no major leap of faith to suggest that such a belief, beliefs have been underpinned by a central concern that there has been something missing in Inuit life. That something is undoubtedly God. Or, sorry, indubitably, whatever that means. I hope that my findings have informed and enlightened the atheistic few that remain in Inuit culture, and ask the Lord Jesus Christ to redeem their souls. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Kind of? Kind of strange. I mean, it kind of goes... It doesn't really go much into depth about the Inuit demons. It's mostly just a weird religious thing filled with a lot of words that I can't pronounce. Okay then. Well. Right. So I can move boxes, but why? Or not boxes, but one box. What am, what am I accomplishing? Maybe I could move it over here to jump up. Maybe I really need to get up there, I don't know. Holy crap, that thing is... Um, I think it needs some grease because it doesn't seem to move very smoothly. Look at that. <laughs> that looks horrifying. Alright, that should do it, I think. Alright, let's move this thing up. It's all Half-Life 2 up in this thing. 
Can I seriously not get on top of it? Oh, there we go. Okay, needs to be higher. I'm guessing this is going to take me to the other side of that steam thing. What's with that sound? It sounds like something horrible is going to happen. There's, now there's creepy meat. What the fuck? Is something coming after me? Weird. I feel, I feel like I'm about to be attacked by spiders. 